I'm gonna start answering the questions that you guys kindly left me. Thank you so much for leaving all these questions. They're all so awesome and um, very, a lot of them are really creative and I just love all of them all together. Stay tuned for shout outs because I wanna give the people who left me questions some, um, you know, thank you in return. So I'm gonna give people shout outs. All the links will be in the down bar of people who left me questions and I'm gonna specify if they make book videos or not. Here is a painting I did in grade 9. I had to replicate a famous painting so I picked a Picasso painting and redid it. It took me around four weeks. But yeah, I did this because somebody recently asked me um, when, are we gonna sh when are you gonna show your next artwork or another painting of yours? So I decided I would do it with this video and you know, just make it a little bit more interesting. The first set of questions are from Sisterhood Book Club and she makes book videos, book hauls, anything book related, so I'm going to leave her link in the down bar and yeah, go check her out. When it comes down to it, I think I will choose The Hunger Games, but then when I say that, I want to choose Mortal Instruments too, so it's really hard for me to say, but it's definitely in between those two and I love them for different reasons, so it's hard for me to say um, which one's my absolute favorite. But if I had to choose, I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to choose The Hunger Games, I think. There's just something about it that I really, really loved, and I don't think anything will ever come close to it for me. Do you judge a book by its cover? Yeah, I do. I mean, I think everybody does when it comes down to it. I think it's because since I love art, I really do judge a book by its cover because I really love that artistic aspect of a book cover. So for me, it really doesn't matter, but it does matter in a sense. I mean, if I see a cover that I really like, of course I'm going to go to it and check out its synopsis, but I don't buy books just because of the cover. It has to be both the cover and the synopsis. But if I see a book with a cover I don't like, I'm not going to go near it, to be honest. I'm not going to really check it out. It has to catch my eye for some reason, and if it doesn't, I'm not going to really... Um, check it out any further. Are you in a book challenge for 2011? Yeah, I'm in two. I'm in the Story Sirens um, 2011 debut um, challenge where you have to read 12 books that are released by debut authors in 2011 and I'm in and I'm entered in a different one as well. I forget what it's called but you have to read 24 books, pretty much um, each book for the letter of the alphabet and I'll leave the links to both of the contests in the bottom bar. Dominique, also known as the Story Girl 1996, asked me three questions. She makes book videos as well. She's really funny. I really like her videos. She does book reviews, book hauls, book related stuff. So her link will be in the bottom as well. So she asked me, what's your favorite book? I guess that means a book that's not a part of a series. That's just by itself. And I think I would have to say Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. I really love that book. I love the twist Jackson put on... Um, Little Red Riding Hood, I just loved it all together. I could not put it down. I loved it so much. Um, how do you pick a book to read? Um, if I just finish a book that has a lot of action and suspense, I'm not going to go for another book like that in my shelf. Um, I usually read what's opposite to what, to what I just read. So if I read a book that has a lot of romance and has to do a lot with relationships, then I'm going to read something that has a lot of action, so the opposite because I find that I get bored of things easily and I like a lot of variety so I'm just going to pick something that's kind of opposite of what I just read. If I just read a really long book I'm going to go for something that's shorter and also if there's a book in my shelf that um, was recent, recently released and I'm really excited to read it, if it's a part of a series that just came out then I'm going to read that as well because obviously I'm really excited so it all depends. Next question is probably one of my favorites. It's the biggest fictional character crush. When it comes down to it my top two would be Patch from Hush Hush and Jace from The Mortal Instruments and the biggest one out of those two would definitely have to be Jace. I love him. I think his sarcasm and his humor and his personality is just the best. Jace is just... he just exceeds fiction. I really don't think of him as a character. To me, he is so real and he's definitely my biggest fictional character crush. <laughs> Tony Shania, she also makes book videos, um, book hauls, anything book related. I will leave her link in the down bar. She asks, what book would need to have a character with your personality? A certain scene where someone needs to be more aggressive, generous, whatever your personality is, etc. I read books to become a character and to live through their personality that's different than mine. Um, I read because I find that I can become rebellious within these books. I'm not a rebellious person. So that's why I read because I find that I can go into these characters' shoes for 
a certain amount of time and I can really become someone else. So it's hard for me to say what character I would want them to become me. When I think about that though, I think of the Iron King series. Megan struggles to kind of hone in on her powers and with me, I felt that I was kind of frustrated with her because I felt that she should have done better to um, she should have done better to gain control over her powers. I just kept saying to myself, you know, Megan, why aren't you getting control of your powers? Yada yada. I would so get them. Why? Are, what are you doing? Shouldn't she have them by now? And I think that's the perfectionist in me. That's the best thing I can think of. Farah and Brittany from I Eat, I Eat Words channel asked me one question. Farah and Brittany who have this channel called I Eat Words. They have a blog as well. I will leave a link in the bottom bar. They have great videos, great discussion videos, reviews, hauls, anything book related. So again, I will leave their link in the bottom. And they asked me, when did you start doing art? I didn't start getting serious about it until grade six when I was asked to do the cover of a pamphlet slash brochure thing for the graduation ceremony. So I had to do the cover of that and that's when I started getting serious about it. After grade six, I became more passionate about it and I'd say that's officially when I started doing art. I mean, obviously I drew as a kid, but grade six is when it became a reality for me, I'd say. It became very serious to me. It was a serious passion of mine. And I'd definitely say that was the year where I learned that this is what I wanted to do when I was older. Maxi Magic, also known as Kaiza, she does book videos, book related um, discussion videos, uh, hauls, you know, that sort of thing. She's really awesome. Her link will be in the bottom bar. She um, asked me two questions. The first one was plans and dreams for the future. When it comes down to school, they, they expect you to think of this in grade 9. They expect you to know by grade 9 because grade 9 is when you start choosing courses that are more direct towards your career. I decided that I want to become a graphic designer because I feel that the traditional art aspect of art is not enough for me. There has to be some sort of spin to it and graphic design puts that spin on it because it's not just regular art. You're doing advertisements, web layouts, magazine layouts, using your artistic skills. So it puts that spin on it and I think it'd make it more interesting for me. I don't want to paint regularly and draw regularly as a career because I feel that it wouldn't be exciting enough. But I will definitely do this as like a side hobby because I do really love to paint. And being a graphic designer um, kind of satisf satisfies that artistic need that I want in my career. And it also puts a spin on it and makes it a little bit more exciting. Is there a book that you really, really don't like? What is it and why don't you like it? I'm not really strict when it comes to rating a book because I find that I can really find something in every single book that I like. It doesn't really matter what book it is. I find that I can always find something I do like. Sometimes that's the case, but with this book, I don't think I can say there's something I like about it. It's super cliche and just... <laughs> it's just not good. Never Cry a Werewolf by Heather Davis. It is the typical girl meets bad boy, girls interested in bad boy, can't fight her love for him and turns into this whole romantic ordeal that's just not interesting and not exciting at all. Obviously I love this, I love the idea that a girl meets a boy but there has to be something more to that. If it's just straight, if it's just that then it's not very exciting. There has to be something unique to it. There has to be twists and turns and something. There has to be unique elements to it that makes it different than anything else. And with this, if I found it really cliche and typical, and it's really short, and that's another reason why it was bad, is because there's no depth to it, and it just really turned out into something that was just boring and not very good. It was short and just plain, very plain and dull. Now Megan, also known as Megan the Book Addict also makes videos, if you didn't tell from her username. She makes hauls, reviews, discussion videos. She's really awesome. I've been subscribed to her for a while, so definitely go check her out. The first question is, do you have a favorite fashion era or a style icon? When I think back to the history of fashion, there's not really one era that I'm really inspired by. Obviously fashion this, these days is inspired by past fashions. Fashion has definitely evolved and I think that if you like something it obviously connects to a fashion that occurred in a, a while ago, a long time ago. I can't really say there's a specific fashion era that I'm inspired by because I'm a whole mishmash of things. I'd say that my fashion icon, because I do have many, I really like Katy Perry. I think she's awesome. Obviously what she wears is a little out of the ordinary 
but I think she's adorable and her clothes are, are just awesome. They're sparkly and they're cute. More um, edgy side probably comes from Lady Gaga and I say that with the least amount of craziness because I know her outfits are so insane. But when I see her outfits, I kind of break it down and I like certain things that she pieces together. So I'm inspired by maybe the um, the studs on her jacket or the material of her shirt. But all together, obviously it's crazy. But when I look at her, I'm inspired by her because when you break it down, everything is just so amazing. And the way she puts it together is obviously fantastic and really crazy. But when I look at her... She is my fashion icon because she steps out of the box, does something new. As a whole, I'm not going to say that I love her whole outfit and that I'd wear it, but I like when you break it together, break it down, and I like um, the aspect of where she comes from. Her next question is dream vacation destination. Um, I'd say my dream, definitely my dream vacation is Italy. I am Italian only right that you go see where your family is from and I just want to see the beauty of Italy. I want to see the architecture, the cathedrals and just everything all together. I just want to see Italy because I know it's gorgeous and you just have to see it in person to experience as it is a whole. So definitely want to go there and see where my grandparents came from. Her next question is, is there a character in a book that you've read that you like to be best friends with? I feel like there's so many characters that I love to be friends with and obviously I love to be best friends with some of them as well. Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. I think Dash was an awesome character. I'd love to be friends with him. I love his sarcasm and his humor and his wit. He was just an awesome character altogether. I'd love to be best friends with Clary from The Mortal Instruments. I think she's a great character. I really do love her and I think she was just an amazing character throughout the whole series. I love to be best friends with Sam from Maggie Steve Waters Linger and Shiver, Shiver series. Um, I think he's great. I think he's so relatable. To me, he's more than a character, which is what I think that you want to look for in a character that you'd want to be best friends with. You have to see who would translate the best in real life. And to me, he's like someone taken from the world and just put onto um, paper because he's just so real and his um, personality is really down to earth. So Lorenzo, also known as Book Geek Music Freak, who also makes book videos, I will leave his link in the down bar, makes great book reviews, book hauls. Do you have any guilty pleasures? Name some. Definitely one of my guilty pleasures is chocolate for sure. I love chocolate. Nutella is like my life. Not really my life, but you know what I mean. I'd say watching Gossip Girl is a guilty pleasure as well because I know it's just such a... So it's not a cliche show, but it's really over the top. When it comes down to it, it's not a great show, but I do like watching it. I find that I like the drama that's within it. I just love um, these fashionable girls dealing with all this drama in relationships. Worst and best character in a book. Worst character ever. Hmm. Worst character, I'm gonna have to say um, Cassia from Matched. Oh god, I just don't like her. Um, that's a recent bad character that I read about, but I, if I go into books that I read a long time ago, maybe I can find a different one. She was just a really bland character. I didn't like her choices, and I didn't like the way she dealt with things. I thought she was really hard to read about, and I just disagreed with her a lot. Best character, I'm going to say it's Katniss from The Hunger Games. Um, when it comes down to it, her strength and determination and her motivation and her heart is the best thing are the best things about her. Her personality is great as well. She just went through so much and she's really relatable. I love her. I think it's great that an author can create such an amazing character out of words and to me she exceeded fiction, which is what all which which, which is what a great character is about. What do you do in your spare time besides art? I love surfing the web. I love um um, going on YouTube, watching videos. I also write when I have time. I started a book actually, uh, who knows how long ago, but I did start one. I've ri I love writing short stories, so when I'm bored and I have spare time, I will write. I will start writing stuff that comes to mind. Um, I will also listen to music. Sometimes I play video games as well. I like to play on the Wii, and I've recently started playing Little Big Planet with my brother, so that's really fun. Yeah.